Flood infected Billy the Grunt. Flood infected Emil. Flood infected Master Chief. And now, something even larger, even greater than those things. I am so excited to open this. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. It's Flood Month, baby. On our channel and on our Facebook, we are celebrating everything to do with the Flood. And to help me out with that, Bam Bam Productions has sent me some very, very cool Flood customs. We have a meal and the Master Chief. We just unboxed those, and they are grotesque. Stick to the end of the video to find out how you can win this a meal and we also have our flood infected Billy the grunt but this one takes the cake I think this one is absolutely crazy this is the flood juggernaut dun 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 Whoa, I can't even get it all in camera look at this thing this just look at the- what is this? This is crazy! I am reacting to this for the very first time. I just took this out of its packaging. Sent to me by Bam Bam Productions. He is an absolute legend. This is so frightening. And I wonder if you can figure out what it has been made from. Let me know in the live chat. I'll reveal it in a second. But this is the Flood Juggernaut. And this character is has always been surrounded by mystery, you know? It was an unused asset in Halo 2 and seemed to never Never really see the light of day past modders until it was actually released canonically in Halo Fireteam Raven only two years ago. So it's so wild that after that long, it finally made it into a Halo game, even if it was an arcade game. So this is the Flood Juggernaut, and I'll go into some fun facts about this character in Halo 2. His body was primarily made from a Mega Constructs Hive figure from Destiny, which you can see is just perfect for Flood, those hollowed holes. It just, it works perfectly. It's, it's a harmony. Destiny and Halo combined, finally. This thing, yeah. It's, it's pretty outrageous. I'll let it soak in for a second. The first thing is, it's actually very heavy. All this putty here, it's thick. It's so hard. Like, you can't make an imprint on it at all. It is so well sculpted and dried that it just, it's just one thing. So this is so crazy. First of all, yeah, I love the fact that this is made from a hive. It just works so perfectly, especially the holes everywhere and the very strange arms. But everything else has been molded on top, like, for example, pulled the ends of his arms, some extra molding on his legs, a huge, huge bulb on the top, and then all of this back, including some little pussy boys there. Man, kind of getting a bit grossed out looking at it, but <laughs> hey-ho. The Juggernaut, unreleased from Halo 2. If you mod it into the game, you can actually play against it on high charity, but such a great unused concept, and all of these kind of floods, especially when you see the flood in Awakening the Nightmare DLC, Halo Wars 2, you're like, oh man, there are so many cool flood ideas that they could use in Halo Infinite. If they do bring back the flood in Halo Infinite, and now, come on, let's be, let's be honest, they're doing that. I just, I have to see a lot more combat forms and like a lot more different variations, because like the Covenant is the Covenant, you know, and it is a bit weird that Halo 4, 5, 6, you know, they've not really introduced any new factions. That is strange, aside from Foreigners, of course, but the fact that we could get so many different weird flood, and then I also think of Left for dead as well. There's so much potential. This thing leaping across the battlefield, just battering you to death would be very frightening. I love how he's added the tentacles. These are real Mega Constructs parts and the painting is exceptional. He's used some kind of toothpick to dot tiny specks and holes all around this and to also scrape through. He might have used a hard craft knife for that. This is God tier level work, Bam Bam Productions. God tier level work. Let's see how it sizes up to some other characters. All right, folks, here we've got our flood infected Master Chief and Emil, and they're just obviously regular sized Spartans. They've not really had their height adjusted at all. So there they are, and scaled up to the Juggernaut. They are actually really small. Like, look at them. <laughs> the Juggernaut is almost twice the size of the Master Chief, which seems super appropriate. Like, it should be a big behemoth of a character. This is so cool. Look at them. Wow. They're, uh, they're best buds now. Ah, oh, well, they're, they're both a, a hive mind now. They, they work together. They work together to honor the grave mind. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, this juggernaut, man. This juggernaut. Wow. So, guys, this is Flood Month. I know I haven't been uploading that much Flood. It's been an absolutely crazy month, but I'm on it now. And you can be in the chance of winning this Flood Infected a meal. All you need to do is head over to our Facebook group, the Mega Constructs Domain. There, you can post anything. And I mean anything related to Mega Constructs Flood. I want to see dioramas, stop motions, picture storybooks, whatever you want. Anything Flood related. Get Gets you in the chance of winning this flood infected meal at the end of the month a little bit after the end of the month I'll pick a winner and send this to you free of charge So head over to the mega constructs domain Facebook group right now celebrate flood month and you stay awesome You stay safe out there guys Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this flood infected juggernaut He is an absolute beast an absolute beast those long arms twice the height of a regular Spartan huge bulge on his back and then these tentacles the holes through his his chest. He is absolutely perfect. Everybody, you have a great day. And the flood. Where's my Billy? Where's my Billy the Grunt? The flood is signing off.